Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ogi and you are watching About the Book and Stuff, a place where we freely talk about books however we want. So guys, in today's video, I will not be doing a book review. However, I do have something really interesting I want you all to watch. So um, you all know that it's Black History Month, that's the month of February. And um, for those of you that don't know what Black History Month is, it is um, that month that is set aside to celebrate African history and things like that. So I have decided to celebrate Black History Month in my my own way and that is by telling you guys stories that's african folk tales i will be sharing um those stories i grew up you know listening to and those ones that i really really love um so yeah without further ado let's just go right into the actual video so today's story is going to be about the vulture and why the vulture is the way it is once upon a time um in the land of the living the heavens and the earth were brothers and um for some reason it was unclear who the older brother was and both brothers were insisting to be older and this caused a major problem between both of them and if you are familiar with the Igbo people you would know that it is very common to quarrel over things like birthright, territories, lands and things like that. So it was no surprise to anybody when the heavens and the earth found their birthright to be something to quarrel over. And now in order to solve this major problem, they decided to have a contest. When the day of the contest came, the whole people gathered in the arena where the contest was supposed to take place. So as his first act, the heavens made the heavens tremble. There was thunder and lightning, unlike anything anybody had ever seen before. And the people were, you know, impressed and they started saying to themselves, there's no way the earth is going to match this. But to their greater surprise, the earth did match the heavens performance by making the whole earth quick, especially around where the people were. And sensing the danger they were in, the people agreed that you are actually the older brother. And of course, this did not sit well with the heavens. So he decided not to let the sun shine for three market days. People were becoming hungry. They couldn't do anything with themselves. And, you know, they started, their loyalty started shifting a little bit. The heavens sensing this change in their decision was really happy and he decided after three market days to let the sun shine well the people were really happy when um, everything went back to normal and the sun starts to shine but not for long because the earth made the whole earth really really strong that people that went to their farms were unable to harvest or to do anything at all and remember i told you that for three market days they had been stuck in their houses and they were really desperate they needed food but the earth refused to yield to them so they knew that if they were going to continue living on earth that means that they would have to side with earth and they started singing the praises of the earth and trying to make him feel better which really worked but did not as you have guessed sit well with the heavens and um, he said to himself of what use is a people without loyalty to me I don't even need a people that cannot you know stick with me when things are hard so in his anger he decided to unleash so much rain on the earth so as to flood the earth and the people in it the earth did sense what the heavens was trying to do when he rained for three nights and three days and um, without stop so he kind of had an insight of what his brother was trying to do so um, he knew that of course he would have to help his people but he wanted to play to his own advantage and wait for the people to be desperate so as to come to their rescue which actually happened the way he planned it to happen so um, after three nights and three days of heavy rainfall the people stay crying to the earth help us help us the earth did help them by opening up his stomach and swallowing all the rain that the heavens was unleashing the more rain the heavens unleashed the more the earth drank the heavens realized too late that all these things that he was doing was actually making the people hate him rather than like him and it was not helping his cause in any way so he decided to stop and he just thought to himself i really don't need this I, I don't need to prove anything to anybody i know i am older than the earth but one look at the mighty green on the earth's face that green that comes with knowing that you have won he, um the heavens just changed his mind i said i have to continue but he knew that he had to change his strategy if he was going to win so when the whole contest thing was sorted out and the earth was crowned the you know older son the heavens packed all of his belongings and left the kingdom people were actually glad to see him go except for earth who 
could not shake the feeling that his brother was up to something. So it was planting season and the people had to go back to their farmlands to plant and, you know, continue their lives. Um, nobody really noticed the absence of rain and they didn't really care so much because they thought it was just late. But after several market days, after several full moons, it still refused to rain. It was then that the earth understood what his brother was trying to do and he knew that he was screwed. There was no way he could help his people. Um, he tried his best for a little while to make the earth as fertile as possible but after three whole years there was no rain and um, your streams began to dry up um, animals began to die people were starving and the people that were once behind the earth started to grumble and you know make so much noise and insult him and some of them were asking him why did you have to pick a quarrel with your older brother the earth was really frustrated and he knew that he had to do something so after several sleepless nights he woke up one morning and journeyed to the ocean he went to the ocean and prostrated before him and you know said to him dear old friend you know um, we have thousands of years of history and you know that I have offered you accommodation without asking for anything in return but now I do need your help I need you to please just give me a little bit of the water you have and you know fill our streams up so my people will stop dying the ocean said to the earth you are my dear friend and that is why it pains me to tell you that I cannot help you even I am not as bottomless as I once was and I need every drop in me to help save my own kingdom my kingdom needs me although the earth was sad he absolutely understood where the ocean was coming from so he journeyed back home disappointed. After the journey to the ocean, the earth knew that he had exhausted all his options except one which was to give up his um, position as the older son. At this point he was really desperate that he was willing to do it so he called for a meeting and had all the people in the kingdom um, come together. He told them his desire to you know save them by um, yielding to his older brother. When this decision was made, they decided to send the hawk to deliver the message to the heavens who was obviously watching everything that was happening. The hawk embarked on this journey which lasted three market days and uh, when he came back, he came back with the news that he knocked and knocked and knocked on the heavens gate and the heavens refused to attend to him. So they sent the eagle who came back with the same reports. They sent the owl, they sent the hawk, they sent the raven, they sent a bunch of birds and they came back with the same results by this time the whole people were frustrated with heaven so they decided to have another meeting where the tortoise said that the one thing your brother has always been obsessed with is music it was why he came to leave it us in the first place so why don't we give him music in the whole kingdom the vulture was known to be the one creature with the best voice he could sing for days and he had the most beautiful voice and um, he was also a very very beautiful creature and at this point, since they were very desperate, they went to the vulture and begged him, can you please help us save our land? And of course the vulture said, why not? Even though he was obsessed with his beauty, he was obsessed with his voice, he knew what he had to do. So he journeyed to the heavens, knocked on the heavens door, and the heavens obviously did not want to open up. And then the vulture began to sing. Of course there's a music to this, but I cannot sing it because I'm horrible. And it is an evil, so I will just keep that part. And if you want me to do that, you just let me know in my next story and I will try. So because of how beautifully the vulture sang, the heavens was, you know, touched and he decided to send rain. But before he did, he told the vulture, go home and before you get to your destination, you would have had rain but of course the vulture did not want to hear because he was kind of scared that um, when he leaves the heavens was going to change his mind so he insisted that the heaven released the rain and the heaven said you still have a long way to go i need you to go home first and then i'll send the rain but the vulture insisted the heavens obliged and decided to send down rain and you know that the vulture has to travel back home and he had to spend three market days flying, flying and flying and all of this flying he did in a serious downpour of rain. Because of the many nights and days that the vulture spent on that rain, he lost so much of his feathers and its beauty, especially the feathers around its head down to its neck because that was where he had the most impact of the rain and this is why the vulture is the way it is without hair around its head down to its neck. 
so this is the end of my story i hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it do not forget to like share comment turn on the notification bell so you get notified anytime i post another video subscribe and i'll see you guys next week oh and i remember i said this is black history month if you really really like this video and you like the idea of it you can just you know let me know in the comment section and i will definitely give more of the stories within the month of february so thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah.